Hey everybody, it's Neil from Growlies. Today I want to talk really quickly about um, stinky dog. If you have a traditionally western fed dog, uh, a dog being fed a shelf stable bagged product like a kibble, um, a raw coated kibble, or any of the you know feeds, foods that you feed as dry and they stink, raw fed dogs don't smell like that. Fresh food dogs don't smell like that. Even home cooked dogs generally don't smell like that. Now, some of them do, um, uh, but it depends on what they're eating. So if they're eating carbohydrate-rich diets, they stink. Um, if they're eating diets that are in a bagged food, like a kibble, and there's 40 ingredients, some of them are chemicals you've never heard of in your life, but somehow they're in that dog food, um, and they're processing all of these chemicals, all of these attractants, uh, like putrescine and cadaverine and ethylene glycol, and who knows what else they put in these things, because there's 40 ingredients and half of them are in Latin and you don't know what they are. Um, those things are all coming out in that dog's biggest organ, the skin. I can tell you as a person who has two uh, 10 to 11 year old dogs that rescues, so it's only an estimate, uh, who are uh, don't smell at all. I mean, I'm not talking about gas. I'm not talking about you know foul breath from bad teeth or a sour stomach. I'm talking about a dog who just stinks. You know that smell when you go into somebody's house and they've been feeding kibble for, and I've smelled it in dogs who are four and I've smelled it in dogs who are 14. Um, it's their kidneys, it's their skin, it's excreting all this horrible stuff that we feed these poor animals and that's not how a dog should smell. And so if your dog stinks, consider what you're putting in its mouth because that stink is coming from its diet. I recommend you re seriously consider its diet should you have a dog stink. Now, how do you know? If you come home every day and you, that's how your house smells, you don't know it smells like that. You're nose blind is what it's called. And so go away on vacation at some point. We all strive to do that at some point in our lives, you know, go, go on vacation. And then when you come back and you've been away from your home for a week or 10 days or whatever, Take a deep breath. That's what your house smells like to everybody when they first enter your home because they're not nose blind to your house. And if you can track that smell down to your dog, then you really need to reconsider the diet you're giving that poor animal because um, uh, we're feeding them carbohydrate rich diets to an animal that doesn't require any carbohydrates in their diet. There's no nutritional requirement for carbohydrates in a dog or cat's diet. Um, and you're adding all these different chemicals that you can look at the list on the bag. I don't even need to rhyme them off. Uh, and, and, and those are the things that are coming through that poor animal's skin, its largest organ, through that kidney, through that liver. It's trying to get rid of all of those things and that stink is not normal. I just want to reassure you that is not inappropriate smell for a dog. So if you're looking to get rid of that smell, if you're looking to change the uh, the uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The pallor of scent around your animal. Um, consider getting them onto a fresh food diet. It can take a long time to correct that smell. Uh, so don't hesitate to take time and be patient when changing a diet to uh, ultimately get a, a healthier animal that doesn't smell up your home. Um, I, I'm, I'm, that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh. Fresh foods, if, even if you're making a homemade diet, if you're using a carbohydrate rich recipe, then don't, you know, that's, I would expect that stink. So we had somebody in who's doing some homemade diets and they're like, oh, but it's, where's the carbs in there? There's not a lot of carbs. We look at the recipe, it's 95% carbs. So read a label, ask somebody who knows how to read a label what's going on and we can help you do that. Uh, we have more parking around back. We do deliver and follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, follow us on in YouTube or you know, LinkedIn. All these videos are always available there. Uh, hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Cheers.